What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here, bringing another Black Desert online video, and today we're taking a look at the patch notes for May 8th. There are several events and not several other updates uh, going on, so let's just jump in and we'll plow through these real quick and then check out the Pearl Shop. Uh, first up, we've got uh, some stuff going on with uh, good old Garmoth and Vel here. First up, you're going to be able to do the Garmoth turn in five times, so functionally you'll get five uh, Garmoth rewards. Oh, but wait, not really five. You're actually going to get double. So uh, it's going to be two Garmoth reward bundles for one week. So you're going to get up to 10 per week there. And then we also have double chance to obtain Vel's Heart and Vel's Concentrated Magic. So uh, maybe you'll get like one scale out of all of these bundles here. But uh, yeah, that's that. We've got an Uncover Cron Stone Filled Boxes via Excavation. So you want to set up a worker on the Ancient ruin Storage, which is at the Coastal Cave node during this event period. And you can get Cron Stones and then they can potentially get you some other boxes. We saw this with a different node in the past. Um, but you can get some uh, boxes here to maybe get some extra rewards considering it's completely passive. There's zero reason not to to be doing that accessory upgrade event comes back this is the little jewel uh, item that drops at uh, different grind zones uh, so you can get those in uh, either swap directly out for shards or collect 200 and swap for a full cup by itself if you want to help some people along i didn't think we'd see this return as quickly as it did but hey whatever there it is go for it extra money uh, we've got double the fun with Guild League, uh, so they have upped uh, some of the uh, rewards, participation rewards, so you can get uh, more Cron Stones, Sturdy Forest Tread, and then they also have um, another round of rewards based on how many points you obtain. You get five for a victory and three for a defeat, and during the event period, if you get up to 200, you'll get all of the uh, prizes here, some uh, Resplendent Lightstone Fire, Classic Outfit Box, Premium Outfit Box, Fail Stacks, etc., etc., there. Uh, so some pretty nice bonuses if your guild's already doing it, and if not, maybe give it a shot during this event to pick up some free stuff. Uh, we've got a reset on the recommendations and chat groups, which is whatever. I'm glad that's on top of the content updates. Uh, for item updates, you can now view the accumulated Agris Essence amount on a particular item, which is uh, very helpful because you'd have to get back to that uh, item if you were like a black star, for instance, to see how close you were to like a pity pen. You'd have to get it back to Tet first to determine that, and now you no longer have to do that. They did change the maximum quantity for the Breath of the Morning at the Central Market. Uh, the max amount per purchase before being 1 and is now 100, and the sell previously being 10 is now 500. Uh, and then the big update, which we talked about a bit last week, uh, was the uh, price change on premium outfit boxes and the other pearl items were adjusted as well. So it's now 2.1 billion silver to obtain a premium outfit box off of the marketplace, previously being 1.65, um, or 165 being the, the number before now 217 and the cron amount and valks cry amount from extracting them is unchanged so they are just strictly more expensive now the end full stop on that um we have some issue fixes and tweaks and whatnot the usual stuff there so let's jump on over to the pearl shop and we've got a uh, new outfit going on and this one's for shy so if you were thinking to yourself i really love shine i really like to dress up like a bunny rabbit well now you can so there's that outfit Aside from that, uh, we have the female classes Selene outfit. If you want to pick that up, it's on sale, 10% off, 1980 pearls. Uh, and it comes with a title as well. Or you can get the uh, Shy Marshmallow thing and the Selene in a little bundle for 3960 pearls and still get that title as well. All classes get round metal glasses now available. We've got some RNG boxes here with outfits that uh, potentially are yielded from them. 2900 pearls, of course, not available in Belgium and Netherlands because they're RNG boxes. Also, don't buy them because they're terrible. Uh, there's a set of five if you want to waste a bunch of pearls. It's 12,325 to get those five uh we've got a fairy growth aid pack a thousand pearls that gives you five theas orb 50 leas petals and 20 of the honey wine we have the abundant farming pack at 1080 pearls it's one fence of abundance uh six verdure magical verdure draft uh six book of florin four special pepper seed and six of crolin support scrolls uh we have the dark knight mortigil's outfit set uh as the outfit of the day another dark knight uh, set for outfit of the day it's 1870 pearls uh, to get that, and it also comes with a seven-day value pack. And if you wanted to see what it looked like um, on the Pearl Shop page, you can't. So deal with it. Uh, I would imagine this links to the. Nope. I was. I would imagine this should link to the forums, and then you'd be able to see the person that designed it, so you could actually check out what it looks like. But uh, nope, it takes you to the announcements page. So. Um, That'll probably get updated, hopefully, by the time this video goes live, and you can actually take a look at the outfit of the day. Uh, it's the Arathel earrings and the Eclipse uh, clothes with Ataraxia gloves and Cabelia shoes is what that combination is. Uh, it probably looks great, but we'll find out later when the uh, website gets updated. Maybe we uh, jumped in a little too early for that. I'll uh, see if I can ping someone to get that corrected. Uh, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about what's going on in the comments down below. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to like it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you get notifications uh, before 
uh, we do post a new video. And if you'd like to catch me playing live, there is a link to my Twitch page in the description down below. You can jump over there, drop a follow so you get notifications for that as well. There's one more item, which uh, they didn't put into the patch notes, but this was a separate announcement, which you can actually find by clicking on Outfit of the Day. It'll take you to the announcement page. Uh, this is regarding server relocation for NA that was talked about in the Cal Film Ball from 2022, making the centralized servers, and they had tested that a little bit earlier this year. Um, they are going to be officially moving these on the May 22nd update, and they do note that that particular patch is going to be extended maintenance both for NA and EU. Uh, for the 22nd, they kind of break down the, their logic behind why they're going with centralized servers. Um, and their point being like the highest percentage of players is actually on the East Coast. Uh, so then they ran some uh, anal so here. You have a full breakdown central and eastern uh, of U.S. and Canada combined makes up 70 percent of the NA player base. Uh, the western regions of the U.S. and Canada is 20 percent and they were located in the western uh it's in California is where the servers were. So then they ran some analytics on like what makes the most sense to give average ping for it. Uh, despite the fact that it being higher on the East Coast, obviously putting it here then gives like really bad ping here. Well, not really bad. It just gives the, the West Coast the same ping that East Coast players have dealt with for the last six, seven years. Um, so what they have decided to do that the current location, the average ping of players, because there's so many on the East Coast, is 62 now. If they were to move it to the East Coast because they have the highest percentage of players there, the average ping would be 48 because you make the West Coast players ping so high. Um, and the one that makes the most sense for them is to put it in the central U.S., um, north central U.S. specifically, gives the average ping of players 44. So what is this going to do? That means for everyone except the West Coast, it's going to reduce your ping. If you are central, you're going to get the god ping that West Coast has had forever um, in this game. And it will increase uh, for the West Coast. Their ping is going to go up, however, not as high as East Coast has played uh, for all eternity since it's in the west coast right because if you're current whatever you, if you let's say you live in new york whatever your current ping is here and the server's over here that's a pretty big deal and obviously you can see there's a load of people playing here versus a few of these dots over here so if you move it over here i think it's going chicago if i'm not mistaken <laughs> if you move it over here that's going to uh decrease the ping severely for all of these players over here and it will also increase the ping for these players here however this distance is shorter than this distance so this ping will still not be as high as it currently is for this player in New York. So it's kind of trying to even it out and balance it across the board. Ideally, you'd have multiple servers in uh, different areas, but uh, this at least is a pretty great solution. So look forward to that. That's going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.